I'm sure by now you have watched Bill's filming and feedback sessions on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet, I highly recommend that you do. I will be catching up with Bill over the coming weeks so you guys and myself included can hear how Bill has been getting on. But in today's video, I wanna talk about one of the biggest sticking points that Bill faced during our coaching session which was him doing assumption stacking. So for those of you who've started cold approaching but have never heard this term before, give me the opportunity to bring you up to speed. Back in 2013, 2014, there was a company established called daygame.com. I know, I know, it's a pretty original title I hear you say, but around that time, they released a course called the Daygame Blueprint. This was modeled after one of its founders, Yad, and sent ripples of excitement through the dating industry. As guys now had an official system that if they followed, they would absolutely get the best results possible. It taught things such as how to stop a girl, how to give a woman a compliment, how to transition that compliment into a conversation, how to ask for the phone number, go on dates, and so on. Point being is even after a decade, it is a model that so many men still follow. And even a lot of dating coaches use to teach new guys who come into the industry day game. Now I bring this up because on the conversation part of the day game blueprint or the London day game model is a section that is dubbed assumption stacking. To give you a clear definition of what assumption stacking means. It is essentially you cold reading another person and incorporating it in your conversations in such a playful way until one of the topics that you talk about finally sticks and opens up a conversation between you and another person. And if you've been living under a rock and you also have no idea what I mean by cold reading, it's literally what psychics use to make guesses about you until you eventually give something away and then they can carry on running with that particular topic. Now, the idea of assumption stacking is actually a really good tool and technique to use in a conversation. But after a decade of the London day game model being in existence, I do believe how guys use the assumption stacking is very, very dated. Let's use the scenario that you've just cold approached someone, right? And you're constantly making guesses about them, but absolutely none of your guesses have stuck. It's a little bit like throwing shit at a wall and hoping that one of those particular poos actually stick. And I do think at times I really use the most grossest of metaphors, but hopefully it makes sense. And the problem with just constantly guessing and if nothing works well, then it means that you're gonna just appear like the entertainer in the group between you and her, and you're gonna feel pretty deflated if after all of that effort that you put in, nothing worked. And in fact, Bill experienced this when he was going out and doing his approaches and found that when he was making his assumptions that didn't stick, he would keep coming to that conclusion that he just ran out or had no idea of things to say. I mean, how crazy is that? You've just started a conversation with someone and you've already run out of things to say. And I can sympathize and I know so many other men will too, where they've also tried to make so many guesses or assumptions about a girl and found that they have gotten every single one of them completely wrong or just way too far from what the actual truth was. But on the other hand though, you might strike gold if you get your guesses completely right. And you might end up impressing her so much that you genuinely earn yourself more brownie points for something to happen between the two of you. So there is a bit of a risk and reward factor that plays here, but I do believe that there is a much better and easier way to get the same outcome. What guys fail to consider, unless they have pre-planned the assumptions that they're gonna make about the woman, 
is actually how difficult it can be to just be trying to pull ideas out of thin air. And this is gonna be exceptionally more difficult for guys who are brand new to doing day game or even guys who have a lot of social anxiety. They sadly lack the creativity or the ability as of yet to be able to think creatively on the spot. And unfortunately, we aren't all as quick as Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, which if you haven't seen that movie yet, I highly, highly recommend. So to help with the creativity, you need a topic to be able to springboard off of. You need something to trigger that creativity and creativity from personal experiences that you particularly have had. So how do we do this? Well, you simply ask a question. Now, trust me when I say there is absolutely nothing wrong with asking a simple, down-to-earth question to someone to have them open a conversation topic for you to explore. And this is a problem that I have with guys who very religiously follow the day game blueprint. They lose any thought about having a normal conversation with any women that they're speaking to. And the conversations instead become very much Think calculated. And that's not how conversations are meant to be. They're meant to have a very natural flow to them rather than trying to have this idea that if you say X, she will say Y. And then when you answer to Y, she will say Z. That isn't how a natural and authentic conversation is meant to go. So let's say you've then asked her a question, a very curious question at that, and then once she's given you a response, you then decide to make an assumption about that response. Now it's this kind of structure is what makes then the conversations more fun and flirty. In fact, you know what? I will actually give you a few very simple examples. And I think the best way to explain this is to go on the compliment that Bill was using in every single one of his approaches. So although I can't think exactly off the top of my head what Bill's exact compliment was, I do vaguely remember that every compliment was always about the girl's style. Now imagine instead of making assumption after giving a compliment to a girl about her fashion, let's say we asked the very simple and boring question of what is it that you do? So the compliment has then been given to a girl and we've then maybe asked that question and let's say she responds with that she works in finance. And then you could say, I would never have guessed that about you. In fact, just looking at you now, I would have guessed that you probably worked in fashion. Or you could say, I bet that's a really tough job. In fact, you know what? I can imagine you running around the office for pretty much the entire day. I bet half of your time is spent just trying to print loads of spreadsheets at the printer and the other half is you queuing with everyone else trying to get to the coffee machine. Or another example you could use, do you enjoy that? What got you into it? It's just, I can't imagine you as a kid, like dreaming about wanting to work in finance and printing spreadsheets. So as you can see, by being given a topic, it really is far easier to springboard your creativity and make some really good assumptions. And because of that, you're gonna be then making jokes or guesses about things that are very likely going to hit really well and open up a fantastic conversation between the two of you. And at least then for anything that you do make an assumption about, she's gonna give you an answer that's gonna give you the opportunity to respond and have that conversation continuously flow rather than you having doubts about yourself and your conversation skills and say, I've run out of things to say. Now, these were just some simple examples to prove a point, but hopefully you can see that by asking a simple non-flashy question, you can be given a topic that's gonna spark your creativity. And once you've got those topics, by all means, make as many assumptions as you like. And by that point, you'll find that you'll be having way more interesting and fun interactions with the women that you meet. And most certainly avoid that dreaded statement of, 
I've run out of things to say. It's nonsense. You have all the skill in the world to know what to say and how to have a conversation. The only thing that is literally screwing you up right now is that you are using a conversation technique in the completely wrong way and have developed a bad habit from an outdated system. So watch Bills in Fields and I would be keen to hear what assumptions you would have made instead of the ones that Bill said. Leave them in the comments below and if anything, it's only going to inspire other guys with their creativity and ideas of things that they can say when they find themselves in the exact same position of, I don't know what to say to her. And you can use this as then a reference. And if you haven't done so already, I would be eternally grateful if you can like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this content, where I'm also on a very regular basis gonna be putting out more videos to help you with your cold approaching and anxiety. And lastly, I'm actually looking for brand new guys to come forward to have the exact same experiences as Bill did. By having your approaches filmed and feedback given, and then all of that content getting put and shared on my YouTube channel. So if you're brave enough and want to come forward, this coaching in particular is completely free and will certainly show other guys that they aren't alone with their struggles. So if you are interested, and again, you are brave enough to put yourself on the limelight and share your approaches online on my channel, by all means, do reach out to me on my website and let me know that you are interested in doing that particular YouTube free coaching. But other than that, guys, I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And remember, don't be making any assumptions about anyone until you have at the very least asked a question and got a topic that then you can make assumptions about. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.